Tonji Tonji, at nanunod po kayo ng Kababayan Today. This segment, we're talking to Professor Rod Labrador, Professor of Ethnic Studies here at the University of Hawaii in Manoa. Magandang hapon po! Uh, Professor Rod, kamusta? Good, good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's talk about uh, being a professor here at UH. What does that entail when you're a professor of ethnic studies? Well, our department's been here for about 40 years. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think about 45 years or mm -hmm. so. And so I've actually only been at, the, at this department for about five, six years. Um, before that, I was in student affairs. But I teach a lot of the classes that are focused on Filipinos, Filipinos in diaspora, and then also looking at things like popular culture, specifically hip hop. Okay, so why did you decide to focus on this area of study? In terms of the Philippines or in mm -hmm. terms of Filipino stuff? Well, I think um, like for a lot of folks that, that grow up in the United States, I was actually born in the Philippines. But um, my family comes to the U.S., came to the U.S. when I was about six and a half or so. So the 1.5 generation <laughs> yes. is what they call them, right? Yes, or call as a 1.5-er, yes. Yeah. Yes, my dad was in the military, he was in the Navy. Um, I actually grew up in San Diego. Okay. Dagas saan yung magulang mo? Where are your parents from in the Philippines? My parents are actually Ilocano, but we are from Sambales. I was born at Subic Bay Naval Hospital. Okay. Um, but I think my grandparents or great-grandparents were actually from Lawag. Lawag, okay. Yeah. So how was it like growing up as a Filipino in San Diego? <laughs> Well, I think it's a little bit different than what it is now in San Diego. I know you're in Southern California. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when I was growing up in San Diego in the late, when we came to the, the U.S., it was the late 70s, and growing up in Southeast San Diego, right around where the Navy base is at, there, wasn't, there weren't really too many Filipinos mm -hmm. when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. it's, there's a lot more now. But most of the, the folks that I, uh, the Filipinos that I grew up with were related to the Navy. But most of my friends, um, growing up in, in Southeast, were African American and mm -hmm. Latino, mm -hmm. and in terms of being Filipino, it's kind of restricted to parties and things like that. But yeah, family well, gatherings yeah. over food, right? Yes. Um, so, how was it like uh, pursuing higher academics? I mean, it is a very isolating um, pursuit, yeah. I yeah. would think. Yeah, I think, but at the same time, I think if you're surrounded with great groups of folks, I have lots of great friends. Every, my friends from high school were very supportive. My friends and when I went off to college in New York were very supportive. When I came here to Hawaii to do my master's, I had a great group of uh, friends and mentors. Mm. Yeah. Well, there are not a lot of Filipino Americans mm. that are in higher education. And so I think for a student to be mm. in that environment, there are not a lot of mentors that they actually see that look like them. So uh, I think it's really important that there are people like mm. you that other Filipino students can look up to and can say, ah, I can, I can do that or I can be that. Because as we know, mm. in our culture, our parents usually push us towards the professional uh, route, like a nurse or a doctor or a lawyer, engineer. These are professions that are, are, are very noble professions, huh? but uh, we don't see a lot of professors, yeah. which is why I was very interested to speak to you about the work that you do. Right. Um, and I also know that you published a book recently. <laughs> Tell us about that. Yeah, so I worked with, um, so part of my research, uh, my research has, I have, I think, a bunch of different things that I do. but. Part of the stream of research that I do, particularly the, the more recent stuff, is focused on hip hop. And so I worked with DJ Cut and Candy and Mark Villegas. Um, we published a book called Empire of Funk, a hip hop and representation in Filipino, Filipino America, just recently, uh, early, out earlier this year. Okay, so, so in a nutshell, what, what does the book tackle? Uh, the book, I think, uh, is really um, an effort to try to give voices to artists, to scholars, to community folks, and really try to get them to talk about how they use hip-hop as a means of cultural expression, as a way to um, think about their identity, think about their place in the United States, but also as a way to build communities, to become involved politically and really kind of using, how do we use something like hip hop, something like popular culture as a way to express who we are and tell stories about who we are, but also tell other people who we are. 
whether that's through dance, mm -hmm. whether that's through rapping, mm -hmm. turntablism, DJing, um, whether that's through art. Right? Yeah, you were talking about aerosol art too, right? Right, right. so in, uh, in the United States, Filipinos are actually really well represented in, in hip hop. You see a lot of the Filipinos who are the dancers that were in America's Best Dance Crew. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you have folks who have been coming up in terms of emceeing, so you have Bamboo and Prometheus Brown in the bar, um, Blue Scholars, Native Guns, Kiwi, Nomi. Uh, you have female MCs, Rock, Rocky Rivera and Hopi and Ruby Ibarra. You have a bunch of folks. Uh, that are out there yes. and, and making a name for themselves, but not just for themselves, right. for our people. Right, yeah, because I think part of the stream of the research that I like to do is looking at how, do, how are people using rap, how are people using hip hop as a way to to build community, how are they becoming politically engaged using this? You know, how are they linking themselves not only to their where they live in Los Angeles or in the Bay and Oakland, but then also kind of linking it transnationally to the Philippines or to other Filipino communities that are up around the world. Right. Okay. Well, kausa parin natin si Professor Rod sa pagbabalik natin dito sa kababayan today. Wag po kayong alis.